I've never seen a company so involved with the community. From the very, very beginning, Town Bank said, we are going to invest in our community. We're going to make it a better place to live. So um, I, I think the most important thing that it's done is to show Hampton Roads what a good corporate citizen it can be. It's banking locally. It's hiring locally. It's, it's helping Hampton Roads grow. I can't imagine any bank having done a better job, not only for the shareholders, but for uh, the community that it calls its home. Our investments in this bank have made a difference in Hampton Roads. That's what makes me proud. When you put an individual with a disability on the back of a horse, it's a whole different level of, of a therapeutic experience. It started as a backyard endeavor um, to be able to help individuals with disabilities. And then when we realized there was such a need, we reached out to Town Bank to inquire about funding to support us. And Town came back as, as one of our largest donors. So truly, every piece of our building has a piece of Town Bank in it. This lady walked in with her daughter, and her daughter has developmental delay, and you know she really wanted something for her daughter. Um, I worked with her throughout the eight-week lesson, and when her lesson was over, she looked at me and she just burst into tears, and she said, you know, my daughter now has something of her own. And um, that's what we do here. We give them something of their own. I bounced for 42 days in the Pacific Ocean. We wound up at Iwo Jima. I saw the bombing of the island, and I saw the first wave go in. There was a lot of hollering, yelling. There was that beautiful flag floating in the breeze on top of the mountain. And I just can't describe the, the feeling that surged through my heart as I saw that red flag fly up there. In World War II, there's about 16 million people served in the armed forces. And by the mid-2000s, we were down to around 3 million or so, and they're dying at the rate of about 1,200 a day. So what Honor Flight tries to do is to get as many of those veterans, both men and women, up to Washington to see that memorial that was built for them. And we won't be done until we've uh, taken every World War II veteran in this area on a trip to their memorial and say to them, thank you for what you did for us and for our country. If we didn't have the support of companies like Town Bank and, and others financially, we couldn't put the trips together. No matter where we stopped, what we did, everyone was there to greet us and thank us. I was three years old when I was diagnosed with a rare form of liver cancer. The doctors gave me like a 30% survival rate. Told my parents to pretty much kiss me goodbye, prepare for the worst, and then I came out kind of on top. And I had the mentality, if you can beat cancer, you can, beat, you can do anything. We're building a custom swing set for a little girl that's fighting leukemia. Her name's Lily. She just turned four. She was always outspoken, running around, very playful. But since she's just started the chemotherapy, um, her mentality's kind of changed. She's kind of been down in the dumps. The one thing they can't get back is their childhood. And with that, the swing set represents them kind of a safe haven, just to kind of have a good time and to be able to be a kid. They're fighting an adult battle. And it's no fault of their own, but with Rock Solid and with Town Bank, we're actually building hope for the child. And it, it allows them to be a kid. The simple dreams of these people are just to be like you and me. You know, just to have the chance to earn a paycheck. And the dignity of that is just immeasurable. One person said, nobody sees me, but when I work, I exist. We serve people who are the most severely impaired. We have people that are the rejects of every other program because we believe everyone can be a part of this community. These folks that would have normally 
never seen a workforce, never. Okay, in 2010, they made 1.2 million in wages. In 2011, 1.5 million in wages. Now, that's an economic benefit to Hampton Roads. The individual person may not, you know, have a huge impact in Hampton Roads, but see, what we've done here is we said, okay, nobody's getting left behind. And town recognized that this is something that yields, that's a lifesaver. I mean, I don't have any better way to say it. I had a woman come to me and she was in tears and, and she, you know, just streaming down her face. And, and I was, and she said, I just want to thank you. I just want to thank you. I didn't even know who the woman was. Um, and she said, my daughter is 38 years old. And for the first time in her life, she spoke. And it's because she's working in your laundry. I mean, it speaks volumes. I mean, <laughs> I mean those are the stories that I live for. Town has had the wisdom to invest in the most vulnerable people and make them valuable. You know, to the philanthropists, I say, dig as deep as you can and, and invest in Town Bank, because they're giving back, you know? And, and that, that's what we need, you know? I mean, that's what I think defines Hampton Roads, and I think the town is at the forefront of defining that. When Town Bank leads, other corporate citizens will follow. And Town Bank has been a leader in investing in Hampton Roads. I invested in the people that started that bank and the way they do business, and makes me feel good to know that the company I've invested in is putting some of that money back in very important places in my community. Investing in Town Bank means that you become a member of a family that provides the best possible service of any bank anywhere and it keeps its money in Hampton Roads. Pretty simple really.